I would ask that you be seated. I'm Inez M. Brown, the city clerk for the city of Flint, and I would like to call this city council meeting to order. In accordance with sections 3-201, subsections A and B, the city council shall meet at 7.30 p.m. on the first Monday following the election of its members. The city clerk shall preside over the meeting until the council has chosen a president. Thus my presence as city clerk in this chair temporarily this evening. For purposes of the election tonight, it is important that I point out that during the voting process, the names of council members will be called in numerical sequence by ward. Upon my calling of that council member's name, he or she is to nominate the person of their choice for president. Now in order for an individual from the city council to be elected as president, he or she must receive five votes in that particular round of voting. For those of you who are new to the city council, I should point out that there have been occasions where the five votes needed to be elected was not achieved on the first round of voting. If that happens, we undertake the necessary rounds of voting until the five votes is achieved by someone to be elected as city council president. So at this time, we will commence the vote in numerical order by ward. Um, Madam Chair, if I could, when it talks about Section 201 and it says that you preside until a chair is elected, it does not tell me whether or not I can put a motion on the floor to change the order of business and it doesn't it also doesn't say that we can't talk among ourselves out in the public as we organize i know there's been a lot of back room and talking because i've been involved in it and so that's normally how it's done but i want the public to see us talk and i know people right now know who they gonna vote for they know who gonna be vice president and finance chair I've not been included in that. I know earlier today, Mr. Kincaid said we need to start out as a council who works together. If they do this and ain't willing to sit and discuss this publicly, and I'm telling you, I know the charter, doesn't, it's not been done before because I've been in council meetings for 30 years. But I got two things that I want to try to do, Madam Chair. I want to change the order and allow the public to speak first, and I'll put that in the form of a motion and hope I get support. And then the second thing after the public speak, I want to talk to my colleagues about these votes and these chairmanships and try to do this politic in, in the public eye. So I move that we change the order of business of the agenda and allow the public to speak prior to us um, doing this, and I hope for support, and I hope you can chair while the public speaks. Do Mr. I have Mr. support Mays, for that motion? Mr. Mays, I think procedurally, in accordance with the Charter, and I would defer to the City Attorney for this in a few moments, we have to proceed in accordance with the Charter in terms of our interpretation of what they've indicated. In the Charter, it indicates that we must elect an officer, one officer, namely the President. And with that, I would defer to the City Attorney, Mr. P. Bade. I, I agree with your, uh, your uh, interpretation of the Charter. Uh, the Charter provides a very limited role for the City Clerk to preside. Uh, the City Clerk provides only, presides only until a President is chosen. Um, it, the, the Charter makes no suggestion that the City Clerk could preside over the discussion of motions and debate. Um, you know, there are many types of motions that could be brought, um, but the Charter doesn't 
doesn't contemplate that. It's very specific in the limited role that the city clerk plays. The city clerk only presides until a president has been chosen. Once a president has been chosen, council is free to make the motions that, that they would. Madam Chair, if I may refer to Councilwoman Galloway, she pointed out a part in the charter that says that we have within 30 days to elect a president after we're seated. And even though we haven't took the 30 days, if I can, through you, Mrs. Chair, to the Madam Chair, to uh, Councilwoman um, Galloway, as we debate the interpretation of the city attorney, I can assure you that I heard what you said, Mr. City Attorney, but the, you can't say what the charter contemplated. I go with the legal straight language. It says that she presides just like we're having discussion that's never been had before. It don't say whether or not we can't make motions while she presides, and I'm telling you, that as a body, even with what you say, if we get a support and a vote of five, then your interpretation goes by the wayside. Through you, Madam Chair, the um, council person Galloway, I know the charter well. Could you read the point that you pointed out to me and give the section to the city attorney and then see what his interpretation is, if you will? Section 3-103, Organization of City Council. Within 30 days of taking office, the City Council shall elect from its members a presiding officer who shall be known as the President of the Council. The President shall be elected to a one-year term. The City Council may elect such officers and appoint such committees and subcommittees as it deems necessary. Mr. M Madam Chair, to the City Attorney, did you get that section? Yes, I'm familiar with the section 3-103, subsection A. And uh, so you sent me a memo today, and it said until the electors change the charter, then the charter exists. She's just read to you, and I've read it as well. It says that we have 30 days. Now, I don't anticipate that we'll leave out of this room and go 29 more days, but I do know if it says 30 days, then the presiding officer, and you said it yourself, can entertain motions. If no, I, my I didn't, motion, I didn't say that. oh, yes, what well, do you that. believe it can be done? I'm saying it. I'm saying the presiding officer can entertain a motion, and if my motion dies for a lack of second, so be it. But I encourage somebody to second the motion. It's a motion on the floor, and we're in discussion or an interpretation, but it would have been proper to let the motion die, or if it's supported, then we'll get your opinion. But I move that we change the order, allow the public to speak, and I know it can be done, and I ask for support. If it dies, then we'll move on. But I ask for support from a colleague to let the public chime in on our organization before we move forward. This, this meeting was scheduled by the emergency Excuse manager. me. I'm asking for my colleagues. I'm not talking to you. Now, if we die for a lack of second, you're not chairing this meeting. It's proper procedure. And if Madam Chair says you chime in, you chime in. But I've got a motion on the floor. I move that we um, allow the public to speak, rearrange the order of agenda, and then proceed with our organizational meeting. Because I know there's some people who want to chime in on who's fixing to be this leadership, and I know deals has been cut. It's not a proper motion. And if I might move on with the instructions that I'm attempting to give to the City Council so that they might proceed in accordance with the Charter to do what they must do in accordance with the Charter. At this time, we will commence the vote in numerical order by ward. In that regard, we will start with the nomination from the first ward by starting with Councilman Mays. Mr. Mays. 
You say this is opening the floor for nominations? Yes. Based upon the leadership I've seen in this city here recently, and based upon an open and honest government, I place into nomination the name of Eric Mays for city council president. Ms. Poplar. Thank you, Madam Chair. The situation that our city is in, I'm looking for leadership that I feel that can help us through the state takeover, that can help us through with dignity. And my choice is Scott Kincaid. Mr. Nolden. Scott Kincaid. Mr. Freeman. Kincaid. Mr. Davis. Eric May. Mr. Neely. Mays. Ms. Galloway. Can I exercise my 30-day right to the charter? Or do I have to select one of the ones that I have think been nominated? Based upon what the, the recommendation of the city attorney, you would have to proceed. Eric Mays. Ms. Van Buren. Scott Kincaid. <laughs> Mr. Kincaid. Scott Kincaid. <laughs> the vote is five for Mr. Kincaid. And four for Mr. Mays, Mr. Kincaid. <laughs> 